Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, this is part 3 of the um, Direct Ink to PCB talk videos. In this video I will be showing you how to transfer the generated NC code that we made in the last video to your uh, plotter and or your NC machine and uh, how to turn it into something real. Let's go back for a second. In the first video I showed you what the Arduinos were and what we do to control um, steppers and things like that. I showed you um, how basic steppers work. Um, in the second video I showed you how to get from your designs um, to your layout files and what to do to get your layout files in a format that can be understood by the plotter or the Arduino. Um, and in this um, version I will be showing you how to get the file onto your Arduino and how to get it printed out correctly. Now I'm going to show you two different ways of doing that. First we'll be using the ARDG code writer and second will be the global controller and uh, I've already connected my Arduino and my plotter to the PC. Um, to find out which COM port it's using you can use the device manager and have a look at the port section, COM ports and LPT, and look which COM port is taken by the USB serial um, from the Arduino. If you're using the ARDG code writer Python file, you should then open it with idle and have a look at the source code and look for the line ser.port equals COM6 in my case, which is already correct. If you were on COM4, you should put COM4 in there. The baud rate should be 9600 and the timeout should be 1. Save the file, close it, and double click it. Now, I made some changes to this um, tool because before it didn't work so well and uh, on some versions of Windows it didn't work at all. Um, most notably I added the connect serial button. Now the first thing you want to do when you use this tool is connect to serial in which case you should get a message that the connection to the Arduino was established successfully. After that you should switch to millimeters um, it should have done that automatically, but it's just safer to do that again yourself. Now, you can use the direction buttons to move the uh, table or the pen into any, into any direction you want. And once you found your zero position, that is where you want to start plotting your uh, PCB, you should click Set Home. This is very important because otherwise it will just be going back to the point where you turned it on because that is what it remembers as its home position. Or if it's set to home itself, it will go back to that position. But if you click set home, that will be your no home position. After that, you want to click open file. We'll select the files we made last time. Here we go, controller.hpgl of the type NC. And we will open that. It opens the G code. Uh, this is actually the G code that was generated by HP2XX. And once we're done setting the zero position, and once we're done inspecting the code that everything is right, we will click run file. In that case, the plotter is going to 
start plotting whatever we told it to plot. Um, as you can see, I'm plotting on an already used um, PCB. I'm using the backside. This is very good because it doesn't put that much stress on the pens. Uh, I found out if you use the pen on copper that has been written on before, it'll wear out the pen very quickly. And this works a lot better by using the backside. Now this will take quite some time to plot everything that you've uh, done. Um, so I'm just going to uh, stop it for now. Just one note, the ARD G-Code Writer app does not have a stop button. So if anything goes really wrong, you should either take out the USB port or press the reset button on the Arduino, or you should wire the reset button of the Arduino to the front of your device so you have kind of a uh, hard emergency off. It's just it happens so often that you run into the limits or something just goes terribly wrong and this tool does not have a stop button and I'm gonna fix that sometime but it's not that simple so let's just close this for now now if you want to use the Gerbil controller the Gerbil controller did not work with the versions prior to about a week ago it was uh, Christmas um, because the firmware didn't send a hello string it just sent ready and Gerbil um, is waiting for something to identify itself uh, what kind of a uh, board it's talking to um, so I added a compatibility list so some other tools also from 3D printers uh, are able to use the firmware so first you want to check that COM6 is selected. In our case it's COM6, it might be something else for you. Um, you want to open the connection. Once it's opened, uh, you want to use the cursor buttons um, to find your zero positions that you want to start off with. I'm going to move this a bit to the right so we can see the difference what we're plotting here. and once I found the positions, oh, well, very important, do not press these buttons like 10 times after each other because it will keep on doing this forever. Just press it once, wait till the carriage has stopped. Press it again, wait till the table has stopped, and so on. Because um, I've run into the uh, limits quite a number of times. It's pretty annoying the way this is done, but I think there's no way around it. Um, once you're done setting your position, you want to press zero position. It will record the zero position and from there on you can start plotting. In any case that you will be doing this with an eagle file, you will always want to select the lower leftmost point that you can use on your PCB because it'll print from left to right and from bottom to up. Now let's choose our file again, controller.hpgl.nc. Um, here we get the, the nice uh, preview. You can see what your board will look like and you can also see what size it's going to be. And uh, once we're done we can just click begin. once again it will start plotting the benefit of this program is of course that it has a stop button which works very well but it will run to the point where it uses the next command. So the last command will be completed in any way.
You can also use the Z button, the Z jog, to see if the pen is working correctly, and uh, you can just test out the whole thing. If you want to go back to the point where you started, you click on Go Home, and it showed move to its home position. That's odd. That doesn't seem to work. Ooh. And I know why, because X, Y, and 0 are lowercase. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, I just wanted to show you that both these tools work, sort of. They all have their shortcomings, they all have their problems. Um, but if you prepared your NC code well enough, they're both good enough to get it plotted and get everything out the way you wanted it. Um, another important thing is I actually changed some of the locations of files um, all of the files were before in separate locations um, most of the uh, files related to the firmware were on GitHub and the uh, IRD G code writer was on Google Drive and I changed that so in the extras directory you now have the G code writer as well um, and it's the fixed version that should be working better together with Windows um, it will still work with Linux or Mac OS X the way it was before but it'll be a lot nicer to use now. Um, basically that's it for this video. You can use the global controller or you can use the RG code writer to uh, transfer your PCB G code to the plotter and the plotter will just work either way. Um, the global controller has the advantage that it has the preview while the ARD G code writer uh, has the advantage that apparently it moves the plotter smoother and uh, if you release the move key the plotter stops instantly. I've had it more than once that with the Gerbil controller I kept pressing the down left or right button and uh, although I had released the button it would move for quite a lot more of time. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment, and uh, let's see where it goes for you. Thank you. Bye.